Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny, and I'm bringing you all an antique store and eBay haul to share with you today. Got a good assortment of goods, and I'm looking forward to sharing them with you all. Stay tuned! Okay, so... In the last few days, I've been getting some really, really good deals on eBay. I still have stuff coming in the mail, so I won't be able to share them with you all in this video. But once they come, I'm sure we'll have another video up very, very soon. So without further ado, let's get into the stuff that I have right now to share with you all. I did get a couple of things from Marshalls, the Christmas tree shops, because they were vintage inspired, and you'll see what I mean when I show them to you. <laughs> Excuse the first item, but I couldn't resist these when they went on sale at work. Um, it was two and a quarter. Sorry, boxer shorts. The reason that I snatched them, it's not only because they were two and a quarter and were in my size, but because it reminds me of the National Lampoon Christmas Vacation um, station wagon. If that is what that is, I think. Weird enough, the original price was $18, if that will focus, which I don't think it will. And I only paid... I if it'll focus if I just, $2.50. Well, two and a quarter with my associate discount, so 60 off of the original price. The next item that I'm going to show you, which I should have unboxed before this, was also 60% off. It is vintage inspired. It's an ornament. It's called the December Diamonds. It's all about the bling, Mai Tai Tu. Um, it's an older ornament, so it's 2014, so it's about four years old. The reason that I snatched it is because it looks like a girl from the 1940s, like someone you'd find at like a, hoop, uh, what do you call it? a hula bar, like a tiki bar. I should have uh, taken her out of the packaging, so I'm so sorry about that. I don't typically pick up newer ornaments, but when the price is right and she definitely has a 40s look to her, I, I couldn't pass her up. She was $12, and this is what she looks like. Isn't she cool? I thought she would look really, really cool in my bedroom. Maybe I can hang her from like one of those hooks, and I can display her because my room is beach-themed. Her hair... The busty curves, just holding a drink, the hairstyles, definitely 1940s. I had to have her. I'm not usually a fan of gold, but I'll take this for what it is because I love her so much. So, yeah, uh, $29.99 is what the Christmas tree show, uh, store was originally charging, and I only paid 12 And funny enough, it didn't ring up for 60% off, so I had to ask the cashier about it, and she said, uh, no. And then I said, is there someone you can ask maybe? And then they had a customer service representative come over, and I told her where I got it. And then she looked at the box and she said, yeah, this should have rung up 60%, so go ahead and do it. And I was really thankful because I wasn't about to spend $30 on this thing. There's no way. But I love her to pieces and I can't wait to start displaying her. And I don't care if she is a Christmas ornament. I also got a couple of things from Miss Stonehome. If you guys don't know who that is, I'll link her down below. We're both located in the same state and we both have a love of vintage items. So I got her package in the mail yesterday, and I was a little confused as to who it was because I didn't recognize the name, and then I saw that the name Vinny was on it, and I was like, okay, this is a little strange. Um, how do they know what my name is, and why are they sending me this mysterious package? And then <laughs> I opened it up, and then I realized what it was. So she would talk to me about one of these um, Japan felt deer, so I now have another one to add to my quirky collection. I have three of them now, so thank you, Karina. And then along with that, she sent me this really, really cool Halloween push puppet. I actually have a few of these. I remember getting a couple of them at an estate sale one day, like three years ago. I have videos of that haul, but man, did I get an adrenaline rush that day. There were so many cool things there. I snatched it all up, and I think I spent probably 50 bucks there, but it was well worth it because I already made my money back. I sold a few things from that sale. So that was all of that. And then... Um, we'll start with the antique mall first. So I got this really cool lamp here. It's, it's like Asiana, based on the style, the, um, the white base, and then the red shade. This was in a booth at the Black Rose for $25, but this booth was having a 50% off sale, so I snatched this baby up for $12.50. Only real issue is that this, this side of the shade is faded, and I do believe this is the original one. It does work, thank goodness. I have a couple of Asian figurines that I can put with this if I decide to, you know, use it. 
I actually also just repaired my Robin's Egg Blue Lamp. My dad helped me do it, because I was like an idiot. I didn't realize there was one particular step to the process that I missed. Um, so yeah, I was really, really excited about this. And for twelve fifty, I I will grab any mid century lighting that is atta or attractive to me, if it's within my price range. Originally it was twenty five. I saw it there the last time. I was not willing to pay the twenty five. So when I saw it for twelve fifty, I thought you know that's pretty reasonable. I'll take that. Oh yeah, this is what I also wanted to tell you. So about a week ago, yeah, a week ago on Sunday, we had our um, yearly inventory where we scan everything in the store. I was up at probably quarter of five, maybe, because we had to be there bright and early to help, you know, get everything scanned. We were done in about three and a half hours, and I didn't want to come home and just chill out because I knew if I did, I would fall back asleep. I think I had slept maybe about six hours. I went to bed really early, like at 9.30, because I knew I had to be up, but I didn't want to be at home because I knew if I was I'd conk out and then I would never go back to sleep. I'd probably be up from, I don't even know, I don't even want to think about it because it didn't happen. But yeah, so I went up to Pennsylvania and I decided to do some antiquing while I was up there. Like I said, I visited the Black Rose in Chambersburg and I decided to go ahead and hit the Burlington that is also in that really awful mall. Unfortunately, I just found out that it is closing. I guess they just weren't doing as well as they thought they were. So they're no longer going to be there, I think, the next time I visit, which will probably be in a month. So, yeah. Anyway. Found something that I was really, really intrigued with. This is one of the other items. Sorry, I should have unwrapped all this stuff, you guys. I kind of couldn't resist this um, circus mug. It's a child's um, circus mug. It was $4. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, if I saw this at a thrift store for $3.99, I probably would just snatch it anyway because I think it's really, really cool. I like the graphics on it. I like the clown handle. Let me see if it'll focus for you guys so you guys can see it better. There we go. I just really, really like the detail on it. And it is marked Grand Crest Hand Painted in Japan. I thought that was really cool, and as you all know, my dad's not a really big fan of clowns, so I gotta keep this stuff away from him. I don't want him breaking it. So yeah, four bucks for that wasn't too bad. A set of two sold for ten dollars on eBay, and then, you know, that's five dollars a piece, and then you gotta add shipping, so I didn't have to pay shipping for that, and that's right up my alley. Oh yeah, we've had this for a couple of years. My dad bought it at a thrift store. My mom just decided to give it to me because they were never gonna use it, so that'll go with all of my hoarded Christmas crap that I have downstairs. Next item is something that I think I know what it is, but again, I'm not exactly sure. So I might have to have you all help me with this. I went also went to Fayetteville Antique Mall, which is like 45 minutes from here. And I didn't find a lot. The mall's really, really changed from the last few years that we've been going up there. It's more flea markety. There are some antique dealers that are there, but they're asking a lot for their stuff, which is, you know, typical antique mall stuff. But you know what I do call antique malls? I call them the department stores of reselling and, you know, treasure hunting because it's already the pickings of another person. But sometimes, like I said, you can always find good sales. There are people who offer great prices on their stuff already, so it moves fast. Anyway, so I picked up this guy. At first I thought maybe he was like a gift, like a gifty piece. I don't know if he'll focus or not, guys. I'm so sorry. There we go. Um, he is uh, solid on the bottom here, the snowman. The top of him. So I assume maybe this had, like, hot cocoa in it, and then there was sugar or something in here. There is no marking on it, so I can't really determine how old he is. But he's definitely older, judging by his face. I just thought he was whimsical and very, very cool. Um... It was originally marked $6, but the booth was having 50% off Christmas, so I decided to snatch him for 3 bucks. Again, if I saw this at a thrift store for $3, I definitely would have picked it up. Again, if you guys know what it is, let me know. I think it's like a hot cocoa warmer or something like that. But again, if you know, let me know. Paint's faded and everything on it, but I absolutely love that. I will definitely be displaying him at Christmas time for, for the rest of my life, hopefully. <laughs> All 
All right, for two dollars, actually it was more like a dollar sixty. I found another Holt Howard piece. It's just one of those eggnog mugs. I had to have that for the price they were asking. Again, this came from a person who always asks really good prices for their stuff. They have a couple of expensive items in their booth, but you know you gotta put some pricier items in there to draw people in, and then you see, oh, their prices aren't that bad. So yeah, that's another one to add to my collection. Funny enough, when I brought it home, my dad was like, why did you buy that? I'm like, well, it's Holt Howard, A, and B, it's good to have a stack of these for decoration, I think. So I might have to wash it with some barkeeper shrine, because it's a little dirty, but hey, for a dollar sixty, how can you go wrong? Okay, so now we're going to move to the eBay stuff. It's mostly pinup, men's interest, so if that's not your thing, I'm sorry. So a lot of this stuff, I cost me about a dollar, dollar fifty, up to fifteen dollars. First one is this Mutoscope card. The title is called In the Dough. Um, it cost me a buck, and I paid about a buck fifty to ship it. That's pretty reasonable for a Mutoscope. Um, I didn't realize when I looked at it online that there is a crease right here on the ironing board, like right here. Um, but that didn't bother me because, you know what, at a dollar and then not too much to ship, I didn't think that was too unreasonable, and hey, I can always upgrade it if I want to. The next one I also got cost me a buck. This one is titled, Nobody's Going to Pull the Wool Over My Eyes. Maybe I'll take it out of the plastic. Maybe that's what's preventing it from focusing here. There we go. And this one is made by Zoe Mozart. Mozart. Alright, I don't want to flip through these because I got two more pinup calendars. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I don't want to flip through each and every page because that is very time consuming. So I got this one. This is from January of or 1952. This one is made by Thompson. This one cost me $13. Let me just see if I can just show you a few of them that are my favorite. So here is October. This will be the last one for this one. So that's for that one. And then I also got the 1945 The Artist's Sketch Pad calendar in the original envelope, and that one cost me 15 That's pretty good for a pinup calendar, because usually people want upwards of $75 to $100 a piece for these things. And this one is made by B. Hoffman Manufacturing Company, and that is in Milwaukee, where my mom is from. Like I said, I don't want to go through the entire calendar with you, so I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorite sketches. Now I'm going to have to censor this one for you all, because it is just a tad bit naughty. So This one says, Doc said all I needed was glasses. older paper, you don't want to rip it, so. This one is called How Far Is Up? I really like the graphics and the, the art of this person. And this one's called I've Got Something For You Too. So those were really, really cool. I was really, really excited to get those. And funny enough, it was from a seller in my state, so that was really, really cool. And the last piece for this haul today happens to be an A&E biography that I've been hunting down. 
I managed to get Elizabeth Montgomery, A Touch of Magic. This cost me $5.99 with about three ninety five shipping, which is pretty decent. These biographies of stars like Elizabeth Montgomery, Barbara Eden, Elizabeth Taylor, all those things are so hard to get. They're not very valuable, but they are not easy to come by. So when I saw this on eBay for the price, I had to have it. I watched it about a couple of nights ago, and I've forgotten how much I loved this bio. I just like stuff like this because, you know, the way things were when you look at these and watch these documentaries, it's never going to be the same. And, you know, I just love watching the stuff. So I think that's everything I wanted to share with you all today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when new videos are posted. Also, all the links to my social media accounts are down below. I'm most active on Instagram, so if you would like to follow me there, the link is down there. And thank you so much for watching.